Good morning. Welcome to episode 9. I think it's 9, right? Niner? Episode 9 Season 11 here at OG Foundation in Elodium. Capital of Elodium. And um, this is a before video. We've got a chicken making noise. We've got a kitty making noise. We've got a wall that's pretty silent. And the first big decision that I've made for this week is I'm gonna add another Merlon at that height right over here, and I'm just gonna try to dodge that plum tree kind of. And I think if I do that, it will resolve my issue over there with trying to figure out the last couple windows with this different crenellation pattern at a lower level where you can like see out a little better and the narrow Merlons. So I'm currently thinking two more of those windows. Somehow try to dodge that area where the rebars overlap. And then uh, adding that Merlon to the left of that one. And that should finish the pattern. That's the goal for now. I'm going to do the metal first. And then hopefully the cement mixer will get fixed today. And I can get a batch. Uh, all right, and I'll have to do some forms too. But hopefully I'll be able to get a batch of mortar done today. So like a plan, girl? It's going to be hot. It's going to be a hot one in the, in the mid to upper 90s. Thursday morning. And I pretty much finished all the prep yesterday. Actually, I came up with some new ideas. So I got the prep up to here. So I'm actually going to do one more Merlon. I thought that was going to be the last one, but I'm going to add one more at that height over here, which will figure out my transition area. But I can't put it up yet because I got to do all the area underneath of it. So I got all those uh, forms there. Fortunately, the cement mixer has not been fixed yet. And also yesterday I sliced my sliced my foot open right at uh right here pretty deep um on some lath on a exposed edge of some lath when i was standing here so standing here like barely hurt i looked down and my foot is just like gushing like a river of blood but um i got duct tape so it's all good so one of the things i realized yesterday that i, that I wanted to do is put horizontal pieces both on the tops of these Merlons, as well as in the bottoms of the crenelles, because this is going to be a place to kind of utilize. Oftentimes, you want to put things down, whether it's a drink or a phone or whatever. So, I'll end up leveling those out as best as I can. And I've got uh, most of them finished. I just have that crenelle, and then these two Merlons I got to do tops on. And uh, so, and then also this pattern. So, I got three of these kind of windows with the bars in them. One of these smaller windows, because of the rebar up top, I had to vary it, and then one more with the bar. So another idea I have is that I might take out these dinky little bars and then try to run rebar through there. So if I do that, it'll be two additional pieces of rebar, one for those three windows and then one for that window, maybe connecting to this one and then going over. It's not really necessary, but it would make it more secure and it's better than having these things in because they're like if someone tried to like step over that like a ladder and they stepped on the middle on the on the middle bar that would definitely bend and then if it, this is all mortared in and that like bends it's gonna be really hard to fix so even though i wanted to kind of use that recycled material it doesn't really make a lot of sense to put it in there so i'm gonna try to take them out and put rebar in it's gonna be very difficult to put the rebar in like that but it's possible because it's around the same width so those are my uh, current goals until the cement mixer gets fixed. I was just talking to myself about butterflies. How the caterpillar turns into the butterfly. Goes into a cocoon. And then the cells transform into imaginal cells. Slowly, one at a time. Until a bunch of them do. And then it looks like the old creature is dying. It looks like the old is dying. As the imaginal cells start to take over and form new bonds. And before you know it, there's a butterfly. It comes out of its cocoon and whereas it could before only crawl on the surface subject to all of the surface variations now it can fly in another higher dimension no longer bounded as such so anyways i was just thinking about butterfly this morning and, and this one just decided to come right up and land right in front of me as i'm somewhat at an impasse because i can't really work on this side right now without mortar because that's as much as i can do on the metal with the forms for the most part so I'm going to end up transitioning over to this side and uh, work on all that. And the butterfly was basically, well look at it, from this side it looks like a rock, look at that camouflage, that's so good. That's cool, that's just the underside of its leaf. 
great camouflage there. I think as it realized, the energy changed as soon as I like turned away and stuff. So it changed its wings too. It became defensive. So I'm gonna leave the butterfly for now. And it closes the wings, you can't even see the orange. It closes them on each other, that's so cool. Uh, so I did the prep out for this last one to get its, to get its fin. And I'm gonna come up with some ideas for that wall and that whole area. This is where it starts for now. Where there's one remesh extending this way. It's kind of not really connected to the tire wall there. And that's all kind of uncertain how I'm gonna do all that. There's kind of a remesh tunnel in place there. It looks like there's remesh all over the place, in fact. I don't know who moved that or if the wind did or what the deal is, but I didn't leave it like that. But, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna work on this now. The water reservoir had been almost empty. Really scraped the bottom. Well, not really. On the deep end, there was still several inches for the fish, but it got really low. And so now, got a bunch of rain, so there's water coming in at three sources from the roofs there, and then it's getting pumped from the roofs there, and then the black one is getting all the water from the roofs over there on the cement structures. So there's a, basically all of the different roofs, except for a little area, are all collecting their water in this big old water reservoir right now. And a bit of rain uh, today, after a while. Hopefully re recharge all the reserves. Friday at midday, we got two pieces of lath up as this sort of tunnel extension. So I'm getting one tunnel to split into like two tunnels and have this little narrow sort of staircase going down there. And I've basically got the transition for kind of just a little more than one piece of remesh. And then I'm transitioning these two pieces of remesh together as they've got the different arcs. So it can seem confusing of like what the shape is, but each piece of remesh basically makes one shape. And then the lath is able to kind of like bridge the gaps in between to make the overall shape. So here uh, it'll turn and then go there. There's a number of different things I gotta figure out. One of the big things is the drainage because right there, see I cut the corner of that roof back so that this tunnel section can get right up to the edge of that tire wall. There is going to be a number of things with drainage that's going to be rather complicated right there, though. But uh, I'll get to that when I get there. But being frustrated that the cement mixer is still not fixed, but making progress with the metal in the meantime. After a couple days of rain, the fish tank water reserve is resupplied. Probably about 500, 700 gallons, I bet. Harvested from the rainfall which will last quite a while for both irrigation and people's gray water use. The edge of this structure, which has a metal roof, kind of like the corner of it to transition from the tires to the square roof, is ferrous cement, and it was covered with ice and water. So I'm going to do my best to integrate this sort of like little standalone structure in with the wall as I go by. So I got three things to unite. Turns out that the earliest that the cement mixer is going to get done is Monday. Because the guy who was going to work on it went home early. Despite saying yesterday he was going to do it. So anyways, because I'm out of commission for cement. And I've done most as much. I could do some more, more metal work. But um, basically what I'm going to do is some tire work. Um, because... I've got this, oh yeah, so another thing I did recently is figure out how to kind of do the bottom of, over these, this is a single course of tires, which is not really recommended, but basically I put remesh down, there's some rebar there, there's rebar on the left side, and then I'll put layers of rebar going up, like every two feet, roughly, on this sidewall, I'll end up integrating that in, I'll probably staple it on with lath while the form is up there, and then, um, so over here, because this little tunnel is going to go, going to be like a staircase down, this tire, which I was trying to kind of use to connect the G-loft structure, the garage, but now it's like the loft, so I call it the G-loft, uh, with this tire wall. And I never really connected them, but it's good that I didn't pound that tire because what I'm thinking is I'm going to actually take that tire out because it's basically in the way of like where a staircase would be going down here. 
because it would just make you have to hunch too much. So I'm going to take that tire out, and then what I've got to do is extend this tire wall that ends where the hammer is there to over here-ish. Uh, and somehow that's going to work with this front face. I still don't know what the transition is going to be like, but somehow this wall is going to continue along this wall. The cement wall will continue along the edge of this tire wall that I need to build. So that also means I need to take down all these tires that are in the way to expose where the tire wall is actually pounded. So that'll be the first step is moving all this stuff out of the way and getting access to it and then I'll be able to see how much how many tires I need to do to connect from that tire to the other tire. So here's this area once the tires are cleared off. So it exposes which tires are pounded and which aren't. So those top two aren't, but then they're pounded up under there. So there's only like a gap of like three or four tires to connect that tire to that tire. So that's my goal for today. And then I've got to take this tire up because it's too tall right there. And so the tire wall is not going to actually connect to this structure. Just the cement wall will. The tire walls will be separate. So this exposes all of this down to here. And at some point, I want to integrate this whole thing. And I'm trying to figure out the correct transition where it'll go from the wall to the gate or the garage loft structure here. So I'm thinking I need to get to basically right in here to be parallel with that arch and then send a wall parallel with that arch there so that uh, the next project after this wall is going to be insulating the ceiling of this structure. So I'm going to do that by building a ferro cement wall uh, along the edges and then I can insulate the ceiling. So the first step in that process, because I wanted to finish the citadel, the wall over there first, but I'm still waiting on the cement mixer, so I can't, I can only progress so much with the metal, like I can't send this tunnel further or else I can't make it over there without going through there. And basically I want to make a, because uh, that'll be sealed off from walking over, I want to make a staircase over the tunnel, kind of, once the tunnel's done. But while I'm doing that, I won't have a way to get over there. So I'll need to be able to, when I'm doing that, I'll need to be able to get down through here. So it'll be good to get this to a stage where I can kind of use this access way. And that wire's not in my way and stuff. So that's my goal for today, is to do some, to do some tires right here. To get to the point where the wall is going to pivot. And then uh, maybe do some stairs. That's what's going on. And it's been a slow couple days because of all the rain, but trying to get my butt into gear today to do these tires. So looks like we're getting rained out again today, but I at least figured out the plan here where I've got to go from a big tire to a little teeny tire and then one more once it's in place we'll uh, step up onto that one and then I'll just need to fill that gap and then basically the bottom layer is all done where um, at least one course to connect them. And I got that tire up, which was a big pain in the butt because it was like filled with mud. So I made some progress, but I guess that's it for today. We got a tornado warning! <laughs> Pretty loud. Right now I'm pumping. See this? It's coming from the, the gate tower roofs, and then this goes through that, through this, over to the water feature, but right now the black one is actually um, draining out. So this is coming in so fast, I gotta, I gotta bail it. Look at this, these torrential rains, the courtyard has become like a giant swale. And that's like obviously the lower portion of the courtyard, and so it's retaining so much water. We've got a temporary, a temporary pond right here. And just to get a reference of how much rain we're getting here, uh, looks like, I don't know, three inches or something, who knows. But the first, first squall passed, we've got another one coming soon. I hear some peepers. 
You got peepers in there. You got a bite weight in there. Oh, I see something moving. Something moving in there, Wisdom. Wisdom having more chickies. You have more than one this time there, Wisdom. How many you got? How many you got? There's two girls sitting in there, and because it's like down in there, there might have been a couple eggs that weren't fertilized or were no good. And so it's a little bit stinky down there. But there was just uh, huge storms, biggest storms of the season, I think. There's even a tornado warning. So these chickies are stormborn. Wisdom's stormborn chickies. I wonder how many there are. I'll we'll have to wait and see. So the transition here is a little bit sketchy because the two tire walls weren't totally even. But I went from a big tire to two small tires. And then here the transition is... Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might leave a little opening there, I'm not quite sure. But I've expo I dug back the dirt face underneath this tire to be quite vertical. Uh, and then all the rocks that I excavated in the process of getting the dirt, I just rinsed those off. And now I'm gonna build a little, uh, stack them up against that exposed dirt face. And uh, if there's time before more storms today, it was just a week of solid rain to start the summer. Uh, if there's more time, I'll do a little batch of mortar over the rocks. So this little section of rocks is up, stacked, and I'll try to get some mortar on. Hopefully the rain doesn't wash it away. And then I just got this one bulge of dirt there. That will be on another day, and then I'll connect one rock wall with another rock wall, and then the that single course tire wall will be buttressed on the one side. And then I'll be able to dig down deeper in here so that there's more headroom in this little tunnel. And then at some point I'll have to do a similar thing on the left side as well and kind of dig under it and then support it and all sorts of stuff but for now mortar so I just mixed a little mortar batch by hand got some on there and then put a little thing over it because it already started raining so uh, as long as it doesn't collapse it's, uh, it's really like an organization process got all the rocks organized and then serving their best purpose and the most steepest uh, dirt face that I can and then it adds as much ground space in here as possible because I got to clear out a way to get uh, the staircase up to that tunnel and this being solid in there will help me in the next process so not only will I have to rock wall that after I get that dirt out of there but I'm gonna have to rock wall that left side and I'm gonna have to build some sort of staircase as I dig the dirt out of there to limit the amount of hunching you have to do to go through this tunnel but in both of these areas there's probably gonna be a little bit of hunching but it gets to full standing height by there Oh no, that looks like a dead chicky. Mm. How many you got in here? there? How many chickies you got? You got some hay in your mouth. I'm trying to get the hay out, but she's just out of reach. <laughs> All right, you'll have to figure it out. Let's see, there might not actually be one out of the egg, I don't know. I haven't seen one yet. And there's two moms there, which is probably not ideal. They could just be peepers in the egg, I don't know. Is there a chicken there? I think that's the other chicken. I don't know, girls. Look at this guy, Don. I've got no chance at any of the berries. He's eating any with even a little bit of color on them. I haven't really shared the roof art. Since it's all rainy and cleaned off by the storms, I'll show you. So this is the flag of OG Foundation, the top left there. That's the flag or symbol for Elodium. And then in this, like, green other three quarters of the thing is that's like the green mountain boy flag so it's just a different star in the corner did a pretty good job spray painting it i think and then this yellow thing was just kind of like impulsive i actually did the yellow thing first so the yellow thing's not actually part of like the Fuji foundation flag um but i did that first huh actually anyways it's making me think maybe it should be who knows i don't know it's random but it, there's all sorts of different things you could see in it like a uh, infinity sign or a double helix thing or two 
beings kind of like overlapping like in a Venn diagram type thing or like eclipses like moon phases going either way interesting um, and then this one is just kind of like random it started out with like this green dragon snake thing on the roof and then I added these other things and movement things when I get bored I uh, I paint the roof then you can see the citadel over there and some of the other walls going in from over here three panels there four panels over there eventually I'll potentially add some panels into this whole wall here when I do a renovation but still raining uh, I'm gonna go back in oh no I was gonna go over here to harvest the raspberries look at these raspberries so, there's so many I gotta do it before I get too wet yeah, the cement mixer going again. Hooray! It was actually fixed at the end of last week, but the guy I called on Friday didn't know what he was talking about, so... Anyways, I got it this morning. And... So I was able to get some mortar on all of this new lath that I put up, all this new metal work. So, on um, Just a first coat on the, on the tires. And then to start making the transitions to the walls, and then over here, transitioning from that to the arch. And then there's at least one band of mortar that goes all the way across the arch so that once that dries then there's a there's a stone form to support the rest of the metal uh, to be able to support the weight because it can only hold so much weight so by doing it like that um, it 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 makes itself into its own form if you just sort of go slowly and tactically apply it so I also I uh, have almost a second arch on that side, but I didn't want to put too much uh, right there and and have it bend the shape at all. So I'll wait and do it kind of slowly. But that's really cool to get that in. And now um, it's not just kind of an idea. It's like partially there. And the transitions are always really cool. Like So that's I started to connect to that structure. And so I'm actually really close to actually connecting this actually right now technically they're connected once this mortar dries this is connecting it this uh, it's like all the roosters are announcing it they're all wanting to sound off right now they always hear me talking and then they want to start going off so uh because that is connected to that and then that wraps around to the that and then that wraps around and arches over to here and then that connects to that stone there and then that stone's connected to that stone and now they're they are officially connected so, time for the announcement. It's going to be called Castle Stark because of General Stark, who Stark's Borough is named after. So, it'll be fitting to have Castle Stark as a enclave of Stark's Borough. So, that's like the Borough of Stark, and then we'll create we'll create Stark right around Castle Stark. <laughs> if that makes any sense. So, now that the, the Admiral and the Citadel are officially connected. This goes all the way over. It's what well, it's well connected on that side. Castle Stark is born. There's some chicken making noises. What's going on in here? Where's the baby at? Make sure it's not like stuck back there, but I haven't only saw it once. Where is it? Chicky, come on out, Chicky. Oh boy, it seems like something's wrong. Where is it? I can't see it. Hmm. Where the heck is it? Where? Is it stuck somewhere? 
So I just had to make a very consequential choice. I was hearing the baby peep and then looking in there with the camera and couldn't find the baby. I know there was at least one that had hatched, but then I couldn't see it over several days. And then even when they moved around, I couldn't see it and it was making all sorts of noise. So I ended up having to like tear that whole area apart and get up in there. Why don't you let me buy and meet you? and getting out all the eggs, which a lot of them were like rotten and there's some nasty shit up there in there. But ultimately the baby had gotten stuck in like the corner and the bags in there. And so it wasn't able to get out. So because I got in there, the baby is now okay and is out with its mom. And the other girl is kind of confused. So I'm gonna put all these eggs, which might be okay, kind of like in a little nest there and see if they'll sit on them again. Because some of them might still be good. A lot of them are rotten, and there's a bunch of them like broken and rotten over there. So I'm going to clean up this whole thing and resolve this situation so this doesn't happen again. So that was definitely the right choice. That was, uh, I cleaned up, uh, it smells awful, like a bunch of rotten eggs popped. Oh, it smells so bad, but I got all the bad ones out of there, and now they're kind of like sifting through. They're like both being co-mother to the chick. And hopefully they'll figure out if any of those eggs are good or not to keep sitting on. But um, probably cost at least two dozen, two dozen eggs for young, young Stormborn there. And the last year, or yeah, it was last year, Wisdom there had a uh, hatched one chick as well, which ended up being Kudo, which I'm pretty sure that Kudo went out and died in his Wilderness Survival Challenge. But it is possible that I mixed up Art and Kudo and Kudo is still alive, and Art went out the second time. There he is. So I think this is Art, but this could be Kudo. Either way, he's gotten rather lucky. Uh, anyway, so Wisdom and that other one has one chick, and we'll figure out if anything else happens with that story. So it's the end of the day Tuesday. I was able to get three batches of mortar done today, and uh, got good coverage on all these merlons i think the first two are just about done that one's almost done that one is now just about full except they got to level the top i think and then got some coverage on all these smaller merlons as well as the the horizontal pieces on some of them a lot more to do but uh, pretty good coverage and then what i did over here so i did i did keep those three bars but in this this one here i replaced the bar with rebar this window is a little bit wider so i got a piece of rebar that connects from here and then makes the bend there so that, I think I had said last week, week's episode, that it's like uh, three pieces of rebar almost everywhere except like two pieces of rebar right there in that transition there. So now there's three parts, pieces of rebar there as well. So there's like three pieces of rebar uh, horizontally throughout the entire structure, which is uh, what gives it, really unifies everything. Um, so there's some coverage on the back of that Merlon as well as all this. <laughs> Uh, so a lot of coverage today. And I was going to get a fourth batch on over there, but that'll be the, the morning uh, task for tomorrow to get more coverage on that uh, on the tunnel section on that wall over there if the weather is permitting tomorrow. Otherwise, that is the end of this week's episode. Uh, the cheeky update is that Wisdom and the Chick are doing good, uh, but the um, those two girls that were brooding... Uh, didn't get back to those other eggs that I had to fish out of there. So um, one one chick from the the effort from the two chickens and cleaned out a whole bunch of rotten eggs and other eggs and cleaned out that whole area so that they can't get back there again. And otherwise, that's all for this week. Thanks for tuning in. I'll uh, see you next week.